okay good all of you so uh, we will going to start this uh, particular uh, uh, i mean uh, configurations in sap s4 hana okay so the configurations you do one thing ma'am copy all these configurations and paste it in one new notepad Mm. Copy all these configurations and paste it in one new new note pattern. Okay. Why? Because uh, we do have different types of architectural changes in SAP S4 HANA. So that is why we need to take out the new uh, things. I mean, new note pattern. Okay, good. So in the step one, you can just write down, ma'am. Uh, so activate new asset accounting. Activate new asset accounting. So before first step, you can just write down one more step. Mm. Activate new asset accounting. Activation of the new asset accounting is very, very important. In SAP S4 HANA, all of you, activate new asset accounting. Activate new asset accounting. Okay. So can you go to the SAP system? That is SAP S for HANA. SPIR, reference IMG, ma'am. Financial accounting. SPIR, reference IMG, financial accounting. Hmm. The next one is asset accounting. And the next one is migration asset accounting new. Uh, migration uh, from classic to new asset accounting. So the next one is activate asset accounting new. Uh. Okay, so can you just take out the two that is too active to active all of you if it is in a in preparation please just try to activate the new asset accounting okay so please try to understand the point and we should have the point that new asset accounting should be activated in sap s4 hana if you i mean if you don't activate the new asset i mean asset accounting in uh, ecc Okay, that is not the problem. Okay, there is no issue. But the thing is that in new asset accounting, I mean, activation of the new asset accounting in SAP S4 HANA is very, very important. And they will ask you the path. Okay, so that is very, very important. So go to the save button and save it. Now. Okay, come back, ma'am. No issue. So the next one is 
The next one is. Next one is copy reference chart of depreciation area. Yes, using transaction code EC0, right? but uh, we will go with the path. But before that, you need to do certain modifications, all of you. OK, so go to the notepad, ma'am. I will just uh, give you the points and please just try to write down the points. Uh, and if the one copy reference chart of depreciation, you can just put one A. That is, you have to assign the accounting principles with the help of leading literature. You have to assign accounting principles. Or else you have to assign accounting principle with helping of leading literature. You have to assign accounting principle with help of leading literature. Accounting principle with the help of leading literature. The next one is accounting principle should be assigned for your company code. Second point is accounting principle. Should be assigned for your company code. Accounting principle should be assigned for your company code. For your company code using transaction code. For your company code using transaction code F I N S C underscore ledger. F I N S C underscore ledger. OK, good. The next one specify transfer of APC values. Uh, specify transfer of APC values. APC values that is uh, asset accounting accounting principles uh, uh, characteristics values in transaction code OABC. Using transaction code OABC. The next one specify transfer of depreciation terms using transaction code specify transfer of depreciation terms Specify transfer of depreciation terms using transaction code OABD. OABD. Ah, oh, good. The next one is specify the use of parallel accounting. Specify the use of parallel accounting. Specify the use of parallel accounting. OK. So everything is perfect, right? All of you. OK. So the next one is copy reference chart of depreciation. OK, that is the second configuration that we have. The first configuration is activate new asset accounting. If it is in an in progress status, please activate it for the active status. OK, the next one is copy reference chart of depreciation areas. OK. Now what we need to do is go to that SAP system and in the migra I mean under the migration asset accounting new you have organizational structure. Uh, under this organizational structure you have copy reference chart of depreciation. OK, so take out the copy reference chart of depreciation. Copy reference chart of depreciation. No, no, no. Come down. There is an organizational structure. Uh, yes. Open the copy reference chart of depreciation. Take out the copy reference chart of depreciation. Double click on this copy reference chart of depreciation. Okay, what we need to do is uh, from chart of go to the copy option and take out the from chart of depreciation is. Uh, uh, how we can able to take it? No, no, no. Go to the drop down option, ma'am. And if it is not there, I'm double zip. No, no, no. Go up, ma'am. Sample chart of depreciation for India. Zero I N. No, no, no. Come down. Yes, ma'am. Sample chart of depreciation zero I N is there, right? Yes. Take out that phone. Yes. Double click on this thing and give you a chart of depreciation. 
Click on the continue option. Continue. Yes. Yes, continue. Or uh, if you want to change the request, you can able to change it. Okay, continue, ma'am. No issue. Okay, no issue, ma'am. Uh, come back. No issue. Okay, then specify depreciation of uh, chart of depreciation. Double click on this thing, ma'am, and go to the position and give you a chart of depreciation. We need to change our own description, uh, right, for our chart of depreciation. So the next one is uh, uh, just give the depreciation and go to the save button. And the next one is uh, uh, copy direct chart of depreciation is very, very important, all of you. Come back, ma'am. Mm. Copy delete depreciation areas. Cut any mom. OK, what we need to do is so we will going to have the depreciation as per the income tax and also per depreciation and rest of the things are not at all important. Why? Because controlling configurations are not done yet. OK, so just select book depreciation and depreciation as per the income tax ma'am, and go to the delete option. Mm. OK, good. So what we need to do is all of you just try to understand the point that in SAP S4 HANA accounting principle assignment is very, very important. OK, so take out the accounting uh, principle, ma'am. Uh, go to the accounting principle. See if you have done with the uh, configurations of foreign currency revaluation, you can able to take out the accounting principles. Uh, if you don't have the accounting principles, OK, in real time also they will go with the uh, standard accounting principles that is GAAP. So can you come down ma'am? So for that thing we can able to take out the GA generally accepted accounting principle. Double click on this thing ma'am. Yes. And for the depreciation as per the income tax also you can just uh, take out the GAAP. Okay good. Click on the enter ma'am, go to the sub button and send it. Good. See the data has been saved without any errors all of you. Okay, go to the continue option ma'am. Go to the continue option. See all of you, you can able to have the accounting principles with all these things. OK, if that accounting principle is particularly assigned to the leading ledger that is zero L, then only we can I mean uh, we have the possibility to take out the new things. OK, so I will show you the one thing. Uh, come back, ma'am. One step back. Or else give slash and go to the SPR reference IMG. Mm. Everything is done. Uh, here, financial accounting and financial accounting global settings. Financial accounting, financial accounting global settings. Good. And the next one is ledgers. Next one is ledgers. And the next one is. Uh, financial accounting global settings. Ledger. Hmm, open the ledger. And here in the parallel accounting. Uh, ledgers are OK and this is parallel accounting. Open the parallel accounting ma'am and different accounting principle. 
and we should have the clear cut idea on the accounting principle all of you okay so go to the position ma'am and just give the gaap gaap yes okay so gaap generally accepted accounting principle is there all of you okay come back ma'am and we need to assign accounting principle to the leading ledger that is very very important okay assign accounting principle to the leading ledger go to the position ma'am and give the accounting principle gaap so target ledger has been assigned to the particular uh, accounting principle so all the things are very very important now what we need to do so you have to assign accounting principles with the help of a leading ledger right so accounting principle should be assigned to your company code okay when you assign the uh, accounting principles to the particular depreciation areas that accounting principle should be assigned to your company code okay that is very very important all of you so can you give slash and ma'am and go to the transaction code f i n s c underscore ledger f i n s c underscore ledger f i n s c underscore ledger Mm. Continue, ma'am, and take out the uh, uh, go to the position and try to take out the zero L. Select that thing, ma'am, and go to the company code setting. Sorry, accounting principles to the particular company code. Mm. Just give you your company code, ma'am. continue no issue okay so accounting principle uh, for the dor1 uh, this uh, gaap accounting principle is already there okay so if you have uh, i mean if you don't have any accounting principles for the particular types of uh, company codes and all just assign it okay you can just go to the transaction i mean you can just go to the new entries and you can able to assign the accounting principle okay all of you okay if it is not then if it is your own accounting principle you can able to assign it that is your choice okay so make sure that everything should be in a perfect mode okay that is the very very important thing right now we have Okay, good. Then uh, go to that uh, thing, ma'am. Notepad. Notepad. Please don't stop the recording, all of you. So, accounting principle should be assigned to your company code using transaction code F I N S C underscore ledger. Everything is for specify transfer of A B C values using tra transaction code O A B C. Can you go to the transaction code O A B C, ma'am? Can you go to the transaction code O A B C? so transfer of the values are very very important all of you why because in sap s4 hana we do have different types of changes okay regarding with the depreciation as per the income tax ratio should be 0 0 and depreciation as per the income tax act book depreciation for the validity is 0 0 and depreciation act for the income tax is 0 1 can you go to the drop down option you can able to have the clear cut idea on these things Yes. Continue. Continue. No issue. Okay. Okay. I will give you the explanation on these things. Okay. Remove this thing, ma'am. I will just give you. See, book depreciation for the valid things. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, remove this thing. No need to have any project. So we are doing the project. Okay. Remove this thing for the book depreciation. Just. Just observe one point, uh, all of you. So valid additional data things is zero one is for the depreciation areas, and this depreciation as per the Income Tax Act 1961 is followed by the 
zero one is book depreciation. Okay, those things are mandatory. Okay, so that is the important thing, and it is in a perfect mode. Okay, so identification of the each and depreciation rules uh, indicator identification indicator is very very important. All of you. Okay, why? Because when we are calculating the depreciation uh, for the particular book depreciations and on, that is very very important. Okay, and at the same time, that should be followed by the uh, book depreciation. Okay, the next one is a specified transfer of depreciation terms using transaction code OABD. I think so. Give slash and mum. Everything is perfect. Okay, so why? Because we have assigned the uh, accounting principle to the particular uh, book depreciation areas, right? Can you go to the transaction code OABC? OABC is over OABD, a specified transfer of depreciation terms, and that should be activated with the each and every terms. Go to the transaction code OABD. Yes. So this one is activated with the identifical, uh, identification purposes with the help of rules for uh, particular depreciation areas. Okay, that should be activated all of you. Okay, why? Because we have already assigned the accounting principle in transaction called FINSC underscore ledger. Okay, everything is perfect, right? So the next one is specify the use of parallel currency. So for that thing, uh, go to the SPR for reference IMG, ma'am. Uh, reference IMG. See, you no need to do anything. But the thing is that if those things are not activated, you just need to activate it. Okay, that is a very important point. Financial accounting. Uh, then the next one is asset accounting. Financial accounting and asset accounting. And the next one is uh, general valuation, ma'am. General valuations, currencies. The next one is currencies. Mm. The next one is specify the use of parallel currencies. Okay, good. All of you. So this currency is followed by the book depreciation currency. So zero is the book depreciation currency and this is followed by the book depreciation currency. What is that thing? Tax balance depreciation things. Okay, so everything should be in a equal mode. All of you don't neglect it. So if that is not taking based on the validity periods and all, so you should activate it. Okay, so we are just checking whether all these points are correct or not. Okay, so yes, uh, give slash and ma'am. Give slash and ma'am and uh, check assign tax codes for non taxable acquisitions using transaction code OBCL. Can you go to the transaction code OBCL, ma'am? So we can able to assign uh, the different types of tax codes. Okay. Oh, go to the position, ma'am. Give your company code. Yes, assign B0 to A0. That is non taxable acquisitions, all of you. I'm just giving you all these things. Okay. OK, good. The next one is so after the check assign tax codes for non taxable acquisitions and after that there is a point that is 2A in the go to the notepad ma'am, and assign financial statement version for asset reports using transaction code OAYN. Yes, copy all these things, go to the notepad and after that check assign tax codes or non taxable acquisition transaction is OBCL is all right and after that 2A specify financial statement version for asset reports specify financial statement 
versions or else version for asset reports. A specified financial statement version for asset report using transaction code OAYN. Using transaction code OAYN. Using transaction code OAYN. N. Okay, go to the transaction code OAYN. Just give me slash in. See, I'm just uh, showing you the path and also transaction codes, all of you. And please try to remember each and every point. Okay, go to the position, ma'am, and give your company code. Go to the position and give your company code. So, company code is not there, right? Where is the company code? OK, if it is not there, there is no issue. It's okay, change view for the financial statement version is not at all important. But the thing is that you need to have financial statement. Already we have assigned the financial statement versions to our company code and you have seen it very well, right? In the financial statement versions, what are the things that were happened? OK, you have gone through each and everything, right? And you may have gone through, but the thing is that you would get proper point on these things. OK, give slash and ma'am. No need to worry. Already we have assigned the financial statement versions to our company code. OK, so I, I mean, if you are not remembering all these points, just go through the videos, daily videos and on. You can able to find it financial statement versions. OK, to our company code. OK, so we need to assign. Uh, what we need to do is. The next one is uh, assign chart of depreciation to your company code using transaction code OA OB. Mm. Can you go to the transaction code OA OB, ma'am? Okay, so assign your chart of depreciation, ma'am. Yes, good. Click on the enter, go to the save button and save it. OK, good. The next one is a specify account determination. OK, so we need to have account determination, right? Uh, for mandatory for asset class creations and all. OK, so the next one is what we need to do is, ma'am, go to the SPRO reference IMG, financial accounting. accounting and asset accounting organizational structure organizational structure and uh, the next one is asset classes asset classes and specify account determination specify account determination go to the new address man we can able to create the account determination okay what is the account determination whatever the thing that you have mm. Hmm, just give anything D U R L underscore P and M. D U R L underscore P and M that is a planted missionary. And give the description. Give the description and go to the save button and save it. OK, good. The next one you can just give the DUR1 underscore AC asset under construction or ANC. AUC, you can just give AUC. Oh, yes, uh, that is asset under construction, plant and missionary. Asset under construction, plant and missionary. OK, go to the save button and save.
Yes, ma'am. Go to the specify. I mean, uh, go to this notepad, ma'am, and just uh, try to give the things. That is, uh, asset uh, classes account determination is uh, for the main asset and for the asset and the constructions. You can just give it. Okay, good. the next one is create screen layout rules. Okay, for that asset classes and all we need to create the screen layout rules, right? Okay, uh, for the um, FX assets and also asset under construction is very, very important. Mm. Go to that same path, ma'am. So under this uh, uh, creating. Uh, after that, we we have uh, yes, creating screen layout rules. OK, so try to select the uh, one thing ma'am that is fixed research real estate. Select the uh, real estate. Select the real estate and then next one is asset under construction. Yes, go to the copy option ma'am. Uh, change this uh, screen layout rule ma'am. Change this create rule. Voice is not audible. OK. Please. OK, log out from this uh, Skype and again join. My voice is clear, right? All of you. Yes, sir. OK, good. So uh, for this screen layout rule, plant and machinery is different thing and asset under construction is different thing. OK, so take out the new asset under construction screen layout rule. Now. Remove that 4000. And go to the save button and save it. So just uh, try to change the screen layout rule um, in Notepad and whatever the screen layout rules that you are taking, just assign these screen layout rules uh, in the Notepad. OK, good. Move. So the next one is define number inch interval uh, for the asset master records. For the main assets, we have to give one number inch interval. And for the asset under construction, also we have to give them one in number inch interval. OK, so go to that uh, screen now. We do have define number inch interval. Mm. Yes, I'll give you your company code. Mama. Go to the edit intervals and for the main assets, you can just create one uh, new number and for the asset under constructions, you can just create one new number. Mm. Any number you can just create it a D1, D2. Yes, for the asset under construction also, you can just give the number range and click on the enter, go to the save button and save it. And try to give the these numbers in a notepad. One is uh, uh, define asset classes using transaction code OA OA. Can you go to the transaction code OA OA, ma'am? We can able to create the assets for the main assets and also asset under constructions. OA OA. Or else you do one thing, ma'am. Come back. Or else one, one step back. 
SPR what difference AMG? So all of you just do the uh, remembering of the navigation path. Okay, so navigation path uh, is very very important in SAP S for HANA and also ESA. Why? Because they will just ask you the navigation path. So if you don't uh, tell the navigation path, they don't. Uh, I mean, uh, they don't do anything. But the thing is, is that when you are in a real time uh, projects and all, you should know the things. It's why? Because uh, after the configuration of each and everything, you will find out the same configurations after the one step or after the one configurations and all. OK, so that is why it is very, very important. And uh, financial accounting, asset accounting, organizational structure, asset classes. And the next one is define asset classes. Define asset classes. Yes, go to the define asset class map. For the main asset, you can just create the one thing. What is the new address now? You can just try to create the new asset class. Just give the description for the just main asset. OK, and the next one is account determination. The next one is screen layout rule. If you can't remember each and everything, go to the I mean notepad and you can able to find out the things. Account determination for the main asset. OK, and the next one is screen layout rule. And the next one is numerage. And you just need to click mark on the inventory data. OK. Just include the assets. OK, so go to the save button and set it. And next one is for the asset and the constructions. Also, we need to create the one asset classes. OK, and. Uh, Take out the new asset classes, ma'am. Mm. Give the echo determination for that particular asset under construction asset classes. And account determination is very, very important and give the screen layout rule. And the next one is number range. Next one is number range. And this one is for the line item settlement. And this one is for the line item settlement. Yes. OK, previous for the I mean normal assets that is for the main asset, right? All of you, please just try to remember the point. OK, so. The next one is. OK, so this is for the line item displacement. OK, go to the separate and save it and uh, just try to uh, write down this uh, screen layout rules. For the asset under constructions and uh, sorry, uh, different asset classes and change these things. That is defined asset classes. For the main asset, we have defined one class. And for the asset under constructions also, we have defined the one class. Please try to remember the point, all of you. Okay. 